Right, hello. Angela. Ooh, don't want that doing that. Angela Lansbury. Okay. Um, why am I looking at Angela Lansbury? Because she died on the 11th of October this year. Okay. I was kind of expecting something a little bit more dramatic to happen on that day. <laughs> but this is about this is about how um crazy things got uh and i'm going to do the decode on it now um again it's always difficult to know which date is going to have something pop up on it or is are we looking at a date that's going to re-reference another date and of course the re-reference date for the 11th of october is um november the 10th that's the big day that's in the dollar bill okay um the november date is the big day that's in the dollar bill so of course that's the would probably be the more likely thing but the way the numbers were looking for for you know the 11th of october i was expecting something bigger in fact oh not to um What's the, what's the thing I'm looking for? Not to not to flog an old horse, but uh, is that the right term? I don't know. But not to flog an old horse, but you know, I kind of like this would have been an ideal reference, like Madonna dying on this day. <laughs> Dan, we stopped going on about Madonna, but yeah, uh, the 11th of October would have been a good reference date for Madonna to have died. But we've got murder she wrote murder murder she wrote um and again this is about the fiction <laughs> okay let, let's just break that down in a minute uh probably her most famous um i would say was probably her most famous role i mean everybody i'm sure everybody knows that role of jessica fletcher on murder she wrote yeah let's break down murder she wrote right because she, the, the, the feminine, the metaphysical, what is writing, it is fiction. All right? This is what we're trapped in. And again, when we're trapped in the matrix, in Eve, um, in the metaphysical, when we're trapped in that thing, we are, yes, you've guessed it, we're dead. We've been murdered at that point, okay? Ah, oh, okay. A murder of crows. There you go. The corona. Um, what do I? What do I want to say about this? I'm going to sh let's tie this into the dartboard. Yeah. Why are we going to the dartboard, Dan? Because the dartboard represents the metaphor, which is Odysseus shooting through the eye of the needle here, through the bull's eye, the axe. The axe, I, I don't know, you know, it's also a reference to the pie, okay? You know, here's the 20 years at the top, goes up to 20. The 20 years, actually goes up more than 20, but um, around here we got the 20 years of, um, you know, the trip, yeah? Because this is around the edge, this is the trip, okay? So this is our 20-year voyage. So anyway... Where, where's Angela Lansbury on this thing? Okay, well the first thing we need to do, and this is odd because I really wasn't going to even do a video on this, but until I saw um, this video here, and again this is another 88 Finis Temporis video, okay, and this is on this film right here, um, 127 hours, okay. And so I, I really wasn't going to do anything on this, but I'd just been looking at Angela Lansbury, and this 339 is is in the gematria for her, okay? And of course the pie, so what we're dealing with is the pie, and of course the the November the 10th day is Pi Day. It is the 314th day of the year, so of course it's you know super significant in that respect. Now what is interesting? As we've got this 584 here now I can show you we've got a 
there's two references here I think with the let's start with the 584 and then we'll come back down to Angela Lansbury with this one and we'll go through that one real quick and we're kind of going to be all over the place so I apologize but you know it is what it is um, but I'm kind of running you back through kind of the way I got to where I'm getting to with this video okay so there's 584 nothing really mega amazing about it if we go to the table here here's our 58 well we can reduce that 13 down that's next to it to a 4 okay and okay what this is referencing is the numbers below this 11 18 and 29 yeah and everything that's in this 7 column is a combination of the previous two so what we've got going on here is essentially I'd almost call it the Holy Trinity. Yeah, these numbers in line here like this, the 11, the 18, and the 29. Because what you've got reference, you've got the metaphysical, okay, Mary, then you've got the Son, the physical, and then you've got God, which is perfect balance, okay? So these three columns here are almost referencing that Trinity, right? So we've got a reference back to this okay with this 584 but we have to reduce this 13 okay let me explain something about this chart here I've I've rearranged a few numbers we've got the um, I put this 143 which is the total of these two the 55 and the 88 which is the total of this column and this column the metaphysical and the physical combined is 143 okay well the combination of the seven column is not one four three it should be really but because this top row of numbers here is not Fibonacci sequence because it's just a regular number line you know six and five are not being added together to make seven we're just counting up here so this gives us a discrepancy of four right here so our total down here is one three nine for this column okay instead of one four three so 7, if we were doing this as Fibonacci, this 7 would really be an 11, okay? This 7 would be the 7, 11. All right, keep up. And what we have is we have a difference of 4. Here's our 4, okay? Yeah, the 4 that comes with the 7 every time, yeah? Here's the 4 and the 7 here on the other side as well. So this 4, 7 is 11. 4 and 7 is 11 okay I don't know if that's making sense to people I apologize I'm running through it real quick because I've got a lot to get through on this video but what I'm trying to say and this will become relevant in maybe in this video but definitely in a, in a later video is that 143 here this total here is essentially kind of the same as this total here this 139 and I'll tell you something else that's interesting is if we go ahead and we take um, we take this 143 okay and then we minus off actual pi uh, which is we're just doing the first three numbers of pi one uh, three one four what we're going to end up with okay is we're going to end up with 139 yeah but 0.86 okay and we'll cover this again in another later video but if we take the 143 we minus pi off of it 314 and actually I should say 3.14 so we're minusing 3.14 off of here we're going to end up with 139.86 now you know this is this is kind of crazy in my opinion right because we've got this four and the seven here that are joined you know and you know the the difference between these totals is uh four and we've got a seven instead of having a four and a seven which is an eleven. Oh gosh all right well now I completely lost where I'm going with the whole video now but anyway 
what I was saying was that we've got this reference here, this this five eight four reference, okay, and that's why that's a four, okay. You can simply add it together, or you can say, well, we're missing a four as well. So this is what makes this more sort of interesting. I'll tell you what else makes it interesting is this 713 that's right here that's repeated over here. And we'll get onto that later on. Um, but that is important, that reference there to this 13. And boy, I think there's another interesting reference with the 13 as well. We'll go to it in just a second. Okay. So, with that being said, We've kind of covered that stuff, but you can also do something else that's interesting with this 584 with the table. Okay. Yes, this is about Angela Lansbury. We will get on to it in just a second. This 584 on a digital readout like this, yeah, this 5 is completely interchangeable with a 2. You can flip that around and that is now a 2, yeah. Um, I don't know how else to say it, but. I've gone on about how a 5 is a 2 before, but on a digital clock like this, you can flip it very easily on a calculator, for instance. You can flip that very easily. And if we go to October and we look at what is, because there's no 585th, 84th day of the year, okay, but we can do 284, okay, and this 284th day of the year is um, the 11th of October 10 11 okay I thought that was interesting and I thought the reason why that's interesting is because it's kind of referencing to the to the flipped version of this day if you know what I mean even though the other day isn't 584 but it's referencing like doing a flip with this day. Hope people are getting where I'm, what I'm treading in there. Um, what else do I want to say about this? Okay, we know that this three one four is the the tenth of November. Okay, we don't need to do anything else on that. That is the pi. Okay, so we're down to this three three nine, three three nine, and this is what got me going on this whole thing because as I said I was looking at Angela Lansbury and if we can find it right here here it is Angela Bridget Lansbury uh, 339 oh, Bridget I always thought it was Bridget I guess it just depends on the way you want to spell stuff I guess but anyway um, here's our, here's our 339 okay and let's look at some of the other numbers while we're here because I'm going to go back and I'm going to talk about the 329 of course we've got the 123 which again when we're looking at references in this table 123 go to the table Dan because you can't just there we go 123 right here we're dealing in the 10th this is the completion of pi remember the 10th cycle and we've got our Lucas Rowe referenced in this thing, yeah. This is our main, you know, main, these are kind of our main characters that we're dealing with in this whole thing. But one, two, three, three, two, one. Um, one, two, three is these numbers here rearranged, okay. Now, let's look at some of our other numbers, okay. If we just go to, do I have it in? No, I don't. Let's just let's just erase that middle part so we can see what just Angela Lansbury is. Okay, and again, one five two, one five two is in our table, and we're going to go to it on the dartboard in a minute. But here's those numbers. One five two, just rearranged again, but we'll go to them and we'll see what's um, what's interesting about that in just a second, okay? So bear that one in mind, okay? Then we've also got her kind of other names in the pseudonyms, maybe. Uh, <laughs> these are her other names 
in her, well, I'm going to say her, um, her names that are within uh, Murder, She Wrote, okay? So we've got this 8, 9. Of course, we've just had that reference with the Queen, okay? And that's in the 11th column. Um, the 44, the 181, the 55, all significant stuff. Um, let's look at the next one. What else we got? And that's what that JB stands for, Jessica Beatrice uh, Fletcher. And again, we've got the the 98 again referenced, re referenced again. Okay, so let's do one more. And this is the one we're gonna we're gonna use, which is this 143. Okay. Right here. So we've got several significant bits and bobs coming on, but the other thing to note is Jessica, which is 66, and Fletcher, which is 77, we get a 67, 76 reference, okay? So again, back to the tables just so we can clarify. Here's our 76 in the night, you know, here's our 76. Super significant again. And we're, so we're getting this reference, we're getting this reference, we're getting this reference, we're getting this reference. <laughs> Um, we're getting this reference right here, this 143, the total of these two, okay? So, let's now go to the dartboard and have a quick look at, you know, why this is interesting. And before I do go to the dartboard, um, because I actually need to explain something before we do go there, let's go back to this uh, 127 hours, because... 127 thank you this was a this is a great find by um 88 um what what he's got here is he's got um tower one tower two and tower seven the three towers that go down um during 9 11 okay uh it's a great find by uh 88 um thank you for that one and i'm you know, I hope you don't mind me using it in the this video. Um, this clip of your, this clip here of your video. Okay, so that's what we've got going on with the one two seven. That's going to become import very important here in just one second. Okay, because we're going to go to the dartboard. And actually, no, we're going to go to the dart. Hang on a minute. We're going to go to this dartboard. Okay, and I've got it written down, and I can draw on here, so this will make this easier. Okay, so we've got her birthday here the 16th of October and we've got the 11th of October which is the death date okay now remember you know my previous videos I've been going on about this October being an 18 okay yeah because we got the one uh, which is actually a 10 underneath here and that represents the 10th month, and the 8th represents the written month of October, named for the 8th month, okay? So, the 18 is October, okay? Now, we do have this date on here. Um, I'm going to show you. Uh, what we've got going on. We've got this 816 here, okay, which again is Madonna, Madonna's birthday, Elvis's death date. So this 816, which is referenced with her birthday as well, kind of in secret a little bit, but it is kind of referenced, okay, is opposite this set of numbers here, okay, the 413. The 143 okay uh, and again if we go 143 days let's just do this real quick so that people can see this and this is where I believe back to the future what am I doing uh, this is where back to the future is kind of giving us our um, we want to go one, four, three, and this is where Back to the Future has given us our kind of reference to October the 11th with the 88 and the 55 references. Okay, 
here's our October the 11th okay 143 days okay now um, this is what we're doing we're going from the birthday we're going 143 days and it's taken us to this day here we're going 143 days from this date here at the top of the dartboard okay just in case people didn't realize what I was doing this is what I've, this is our reference start date it's the 21st of May okay that's going to take us to that death date okay and what is interesting as well is we kind of have we can add these two together here which will give us the 16 again right here okay and we can also the other side of this thing we've got the 18 again okay so we've got these same numbers repeating on each side of this thing the 143 pretty interesting that that is that you know we've got it opposite and we've got it surrounding the whole thing um, let's get rid of some of this bump for a minute and I'll just talk you through this table here a little bit and we're, actually I'm gonna maybe I'll save this little talk for um, what the hell is that one there? Get that one over there. Ooh, undo undo okay so we've got rid of all that jazz but that is her death date here so we're getting this October date here again okay um, now uh, what I want to do though is I want to say that as we move around this calendar you know I think we're in October here and at some point we're going to move into November um, and the reason why I think we're moving into November somewhere here there's a sort of a reference to moving into November here is because we have this five oh, I'm an L, Dan, five one one remember remember this is the time to remember as we go into November the 5th of November remember the 5th okay and the 5 is of course the the Holy Spirit, if you like, um, the metaphysical. You know, remember where you came from. Remember God, the five one. Okay. Now, remember, <laughs> remember, remember that the the video I was, that we were just looking at there with um, on eighty eight Finiston Forest was one, two seven the numbers of um, that event the 9-11 event okay so this becomes very important right now as we move on around the table um, to referencing this okay that watch on that on that deal there with the with the numbers of pi which are right here again okay and then our um, 339 and our our 5 which you know again this is if this is the 11th of October here right here then that is also the 284th day of the year or we can flip it and make that a 584 right here and I'll tell you what else is also pretty interesting is that 584 if we go back to the table now, look where we are with these numbers here. You know, we're referencing all this. Let's come across here, straight across. Here's our eight, here's our eight and thirteen. Okay. We were just I was just saying this is the five, yeah, the eight and the thirteen, which comes back down to a four. Yeah. <laughs> in a table. Does that make sense to people? Undo all that a minute. Oh, what a mess. Okay, go to the table, Dan. Show people. Yeah, there was that 813 across the, the dartboard. And here was our 5, 8, and then we were reducing that 
13 to a 4. Jeez, this is... It's funny because these videos seem to be getting more complicated, but the more you look at this stuff, at least the more I look at it, it's like, oh wow, that connects to that, that connects to that. It's super interconnected. Um, anyway, next thing to look at is this 3... We want to do the last little part of this, which is this 339. Okay, and for that, well, let's just go to the to the regular old table here, and let's go on down. So there's our pi day here, 314, the 51. Remember, remember, <laughs> the 51 of God. Okay, and here's our, our 10th of November there. Well, if we carry on down, we can get to the 339th day of the year right here um, which again is interesting you know the 339 and there's another interesting number it's actually my old telephone number in England and it's just like it's just absolutely nuts the references the references are just nuts I'm sorry in my own life they're just crazy um, but here's this 339, right? Um, with the 26. Okay. Um, why is this significant? Okay. The, the 5th of December. Okay, well, again, the 5th of December is a 1, 2, 5, 5, 2, 1. Our significant date at the top of the dartboard. Yeah, our 5, 2, 1. Okay, which is, again is that this is the like reverse of of uh, Jesus's birthday, which is twelve twenty five. This is the opposite. Yeah, this is the anti birthday, if you like. Um, this is actually the the matrix birthday. Yeah, the May five, and actually it should be called the May tr uh, Twix. The May Twix is what I should call it. Because you've got the 5 of May and then the twa, the twa of the 20, the, the 2 is the, the twin is the twa, yeah, like like the, the biscuit you eat, the Twix, the candy bar, with the, the X on the end for the 10 here, the 1, would be this 10 that's in here as well. And so this is actually going to bring me up to another date here for the next video. You can probably already guess what it is. Um, but let's leave that for another video. Um, but that is the the May the May Twix, um, as Elmer Fudd would say. This three three this three three nine. Okay. <laughs> uh, what is interesting about the three three nine? Okay, look. We've got 26 days remaining in the year. So that means that January the 26th is 26 days gone in the year, which is our other 339. That's our twin. Um, let's go to it now. Uh, ha -ha. And can we remember what happened on that day? Yes, that's Kobe's helicopter calamity. Okay, um, it feels like this was kind of like the start of this little mini cycle, if you like. Um, <laughs> that's what that's how it, it feels like it all kind of kicked off right then with this like everything being at a slightly accelerated pace, I think. I'm not sure, but anyway, and it seems to be. It's it's just weird, right? It just seems to be gaining momentum. Um, it's like the, um, you know, the uh, oh, what's the what's the what's the word I want to use? The uh, it's like the bell curve graph, you know. It's just it's taking off exponentially, you know. It's just going whoop. <laughs> And that's what it feels like right now. Ever since the 26th, it's just been going, zoop, and we're getting to the top of the bell right now, maybe. Um, 
I'm going to leave it there for this video. I've got some more stuff that I want to do. And in fact, maybe I'll just chuck this in because this isn't too much to add into this video. And it's kind of along the same lines. And it's the Coolio thing. Because he actually died on September the 28th. And the reason why this is significant is, I mean, we can check out his name, Leon. I guess that's Ivy. Okay. Artist Leon Ivy. Now, Leon being the lion, okay, the lion and the ivy together, interesting. And of course, call cool Leo the cool lion, <laughs> um, interesting as well. But this could also be a little wordplay on. Um, the idea of send the call out before the event if you know what I mean and this is like um, call you know like calling the sun if you like call Leo I don't know I'm trying to explain stuff and it's, I'm not really making much sense tonight um, but this is like send the call out call the sun call the Leo um, anyway what is interesting about this, Dan? This September the the twenty eighth. Okay, born August one. So we've got the eight one. Okay, wonderful. That's the eight one again of man. The eighteen, and again the eight one was. Te uh, was the uh, oh, Luminel Dan the eleventh of October, eighty one days left in the year. I think if I'm getting this stuff right. Okay, now September. The 28th, right here. Where's that at? I've got another little picture drawn here. Hang on. Let's see if I can find it. Uh, it's in here. Ah, I don't want to save changes. Uh, don't save. It's fine. Um, I've got him blocked off in here. We're going to be coming on to this in the next video. Okay. Um, but here is our little block. For where Coolio, um, his death date here, okay. And what we have to do is we just take these numbers, which is in reverse nine, yeah, two, and then the eight, okay. And again, what was interesting with that dartboard here's the eight one three that's right above these numbers here so 813 on the dartboard is referencing this 829 if you like um, and again we just had that reference I think we just had that reference as well with 584 I think that was a kind of combined reference there so it's just interesting the way this stuff is panning out should I say okay um, and again, the dartboard, I mean, there is no um, 928 on here that I've come across. It's obvious. But again, you know, we kind of just did um, uh, Angela right here. And we kind of got Coolio in here as well, kind of shoved in here. So... Uh, it's just pretty interesting, I think. So I'm going to leave it at that. Um, the only thing I will say about Coolio is that that one song, Gangster's Paradise, you know, um, pretty pretty significant. Other singles, Fantastic Voyage as well, you know, that's what we're on right now. Uh, should be a Fantastic Voyage, but for some of us it, it might not be. Um, you know, what else to say? What else to say? Um, that's it. That's it for this video. The next video we'll be covering uh, this this thing right here. Okay, so I will catch you on the next one, and hope you enjoyed this one. And uh, yeah. I don't know what else to say really. Um, we'll go over this 139 
be in the 143 a little bit more um, in that next video as well. Just re rehash that again. All right, thanks for watching. Cheers. All right, bye.